In this video, we're diving into two super important git commands, git push and git pull. With git push, you can upload your local changes to a remote repository like GitHub, making your work accessible from anywhere. And with git pull, you can fetch the latest updates from the remote repository to keep your local code up to date. These commands are essential for teamwork and version control, so let's break them down step by step. We have a project with a Python file called app.py, and inside it there's just a basic print function. To upload this project to GitHub using git push, the first thing we need to do is create a repository on GitHub and give it a name. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to push your project to GitHub. We've already added and committed our files before, so now we need to rename the branch. By default, when you create a new repository on GitHub, the main branch is called main, not master. So since we're currently on the master branch in our Git repository, we'll change the branch name to main. Now our branch is called main, and we can proceed with pushing our code. To push our code to GitHub, we need to add the remote address for the repository. You can use either SSH or HTTPS to connect to the remote repository, and I'll use HTTPS in this case. So I'll copy the HTTPS address, not the SSH one. If you run git remote-v, you'll be able to see the remote locations that are currently set up. We've successfully added it, so now we can push the main branch to GitHub. When we push, Git will ask for our username and password. However, the password isn't your GitHub password. It's a special token. You'll need to create this token in your GitHub settings. Just give it a name. Assign the appropriate repository permissions. And then use that token as the password when pushing your changes. After this, the push operation will be completed successfully. You can then check your GitHub to see that the Python file with the print function has been pushed. Now, I'll go to GitHub and make a change in the Python file by adding a second print function. After making the change, I'll commit it. At this point, in my local Git repository, uh, there's still just one print function in the Python file. If I check with Git status, there are no uncommitted changes, which is great. Now I'll run git pull origin main to pull the latest changes from the remote repository. When I check again with git status, everything looks good, no uncommitted changes. After pulling, we've successfully synced the changes made in the remote repository to our local machine. So in short, you can use git pull to bring in changes from a remote repository into your local one. Now let's make a local change. I'll add a third print function to the Python file. If I check the status with git status, it shows that the file now has three print functions. Using git push, I can push this change back to the remote repository. Again, it'll ask for my username and password. I'll use the token I created earlier. Once I refresh GitHub, I can see that the changes have been successfully pushed to the remote repository. That's it for today's tutorial. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.